Kapatie, and you know when you have a because he is qualified, he is competent, and he has he has confidence that he is there. So wana tukubalia tufanya kazi. Ladies and gentlemen, you know we are not rocket scientists, but we know very well right now that Rigathi Kashagwa was disgruntled at the time when Kenya Kwanza MPs. And yesterday, before the meeting was convened, and some of them knew that they would have that meeting, a section of Ruto's boys, who have always been fashioned to fight Rigathi Kashagwa, were sending him signals that we are going to meet you there. And once we meet you there, we are going to tell you face to face. We are going to show you what you are made of. I am certain that uh, uh, the party leader will tell us to tone down on uh, these political rhetorics and uh, unnecessary squabbles uh, within their coalition. But we expect the president, of course, to uh, tell us to cool down uh, a bit of some uh, tensions. And we also expect him to also tell his deputy uh, to stop being tribal. And, uh, and and focus on his national agenda. Uh, we really expect that because if then he doesn't, then the members will, will, will tell him, uh, the deputy party leader, that um, uh, you are a bit too much in terms of being very tribal. And the uh, members of parliament will tell him that he is extremely tribal. And it is about time he realized, especially when it comes from the deputy president, who is the second highest uh, uh, you know, the second in command in this country. We told the truth. In fact, if you look at the statements of uh, Silvanus Osoro, Osoro was saying that they were really targeting that President William Bruto was the one to initiate that conversation of, first of all, telling them to cool down the temperatures and then by telling them to cool down the temperatures they were expecting the President to mention Rigadi Gashagwa specifically that he is the one who is a tribalist and is the one who has messed everything. That is Osoro's statement and the, the expectation. And remember, Osoro is having a higher standing in the Kenya Kwanza to see before. Never allow anybody to discuss your boss with you. Yeah. Because the minute you allow people to get into a conversation to discuss your boss, you have lost it. So, nae ukiwa na bahati kama mimi upate buzi mzuri anakusaidia na kukupatia all the facilities to work you just work when William Ruto was a deputy president he had a difficult time alinyimwa magari hakuwa na magari petroli alikuwa naweka manyewe nyumba yake ilikuwa na nyesha chai alikuwa natoa mfuko ndege anakomboa yake hakuna waziri naweza chukua simu yake and I must say, today here in church, uh, William Ruto, our president, is a man I have not seen because despite all that, I live familiar. And no single day did he ever talk down his boss, despite the challenges. Mimi amenipatia kazi, amenipatia facilities ya kufanya kazi. Mandege amenipatia, magari amenipatia, amenipatia budget. Mawaziri wote wanareporti kwangu kabla kuenda kwake. So mimi, I have no choice but to succeed by helping him to succeed. And that is what deputies must do. Now my deputy, now my governor, mkue kama William Ruto. Now my deputy, muapatie na fasi wafanya ka? Muapatie. And you know, when you have a, prop, a boost, who has no inferiority complex, you succeed. President William Ruto will never feel threatened by my activities because he is qualified, he is competent, and he has, he has confidence that he is there. So, what are you to do? He was a man that has been isolated, a disgruntled man, a man trading on his own path. He is just there to be seen. And, ladies and gentlemen, I think the next step and the next course of action, we have always said it very many times, Rigiji now needs to move on his own trajectory. And by moving on his own trajectory, he needs to identify strategies to make him stand out. Otherwise, these boys and girls from William Bruto's 
corner are going to overwhelm him. We have said that very many times. Rigiji now needs to open up. He needs to make sure that definitely he will triumph over this battle. Perhaps that is the reason why he was saying that, you know, he was he is not going to support the bill, neither is he going to oppose it. Perhaps he had known that his inputs in the bill were not supposed to be considered at the, at the same time everything he was bringing on board are being rubbished and he has no standing at all. He has no moral ground to speak on behalf of Kenya Kwanzaa. And maybe that is the reason why he was saying, ah, why are maybe sasa ni, ni kai kwa fence? Because he is a man who can now see things. Unajua apo, ukienda, unapata wao ndi wako wengi. Na wao ndi wana kufight. And you can't actually erupt in, you know, <laughs> words with them. So perhaps he kept his cool. He just composed himself. But then we are going to see. We are going to hear what really happened. Because I know at one point, in the course of this week, when he is going to get an opportunity to speak out there, especially when he goes to Nyeri, <laughs> when he goes to Kirinyaga, okay? Those are the areas, the confinement. We are going to hear exactly what really happened. And this is also going to give us the moment of truth of what was discussed there. Rigiji will spill everything, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you next. Have a great time.